Hello everyone, this tutorial is on how to take a third person removed camera system uh, using Kismet and making it more dynamic like you see here I press you know I press the X key and then the camera goes down and looks something far off press the Z key it goes back to a third person removed camera system um, so let us load up a uh, the simple version first the base third person camera system removed um, and then let's build off it from there um, this Kismet sequence isn't part of the tutorial, but I'll go over it real quick anyways for the people who aren't informed. Basically, um, what you do is get the location and rotation of the player, and then add these floats to it. So basically you're adding 300, 300 on X and Y, and then 450 on the Z axis, pretty much offsetting so you can get that third person removed. And then you um, get the actor lo set the actor location of the camera, which is 300 by 300 by 450, and make it the camera target. And then basically this only happens once, so you take it, set an active delay by like something really tiny, like 0 .001, and then have it do the whole sequence over again. So it'll be constantly over and over offsetting the camera. So I play it, and here's my third person camera. Um, it's nice, it's nice and third person removed, but I don't have much control over it. What if I want the camera to focus on something else instead? So what we're going to do is we're going to change this up a little bit and modify it so we can have more control over it. So the first thing what you want to do is don't have the camera be offset. You have something else be offset and then you parent the camera to that object. Uh, so what I'm going to add is what I like to call an empty. It's basically an axis that has absolutely no point other than just parenting something to it. And then you just place it here. And then what you do is um, set the actual location to not be the camera, but to be this empty, which is we need to convert to a uh, mover was what it's called um, when you convert it and now it's an interfactor so now you make this the offset and the camera will be parented to this empty right here so let's find the camera where is it uh, really huge right here and uh, let's take down the one and then let's move it all the way back to that empty right there it has to be overlapping the empty exactly so let's move it over So it's right on top of that empty, or you know, close enough. So now what we're going to do is, well, first we're going to move it down like that. So now what we're going to do is go into Kismet and attach that camera to the interfactor. So just real simple, level loaded and then we're just going to do actor attach to actor plug that in the target is the interfactor and the attachment is the camera actor like that so now we go and play and we should get the same results uh oh well okay we have a little bug here basically what happened is the camera attached to the interfactor after the interfactor was offset, so the camera was pretty much offset. So what you need to do is have um, set an active delay to this sequence right here by something really small, 0.01. So now the camera will attach to the interfactor, and then the interfactor will offset. So now we got this. Um, obviously, we need to make this interfactor invisible um, when we play the game, but we pretty much have the same result here. But now the camera can now be animated in matinee. So let's go ahead and make this invisible. Right click, enter back to properties, and then just go to display hidden. So just real quick test it out. Okay, now it's hidden. Now we're back to where we were before, but now we have more control. So now we can just say we can say we're done here and that's it. But what we also want to do is have something called a focus point. Um so what you do is focus point will have the camera always be focusing on this second object. So let's make another interfactor. Let's just 
hold Alt here and drag it out to make a copy. Let's say like that. And um, what I'm going to do is make, I'm going to attach this interp actor to this interp actor, just for the sake so we can have it easily follow as well. You, you'll understand when I get it working. So we're going to have a second attached actor. Just copy paste this and just put the out into the in and just delete these. And so the target will be the second interp actor and the attachment will be the first one. Wait, I might have gotten that backwards. Well, let's find out. I always get that mixed up. Actually, yeah, I think I got it backwards. Hold on, let me switch those around right there. All right, now let's try that now. Uh-oh, the other problem is it's hidden. Let's unhide it there. Let's try it out again. So now we have this second object here. It's a bit, we basically want it to be on the squirrel or the uh, main character, right now it's a squirrel. Um, and so let us, just a little bit of trial and error, move it back here and rotate it by 45 degrees, so it'll be up and down. There we go, that's that's pretty close. So that's what we got there, that's our focus point. Um, right now it's not visible, I mean it's not being focused on, so what we can do is set up a matinee to focus on this object. This can also not just be used just for cameras, you can have any object focused on something else, like the player. Like a good example would be like a security camera and have it focus on it. Of course, that's not the uh, object of this tutorial, we'll figure that out some other time. So uh, let's make sure the camera is selected. I don't know why it's pitch black, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, this must be a lighting issue. So now we open up this matinee, right click, add a new empty group. This will be our focus point, so let's name it focus underscore point because UDK does not like spaces for some interesting reason. So then we just leave it at that. Or actually let's add a movement track for now. We'll leave it empty. And then we're going to add a camera group. I just, I just like to call my cameras by number so this will just be camo one. Um, and then what you do is go to movement and say look down here look at group name. Well what do we want to look at? We want to look at the focus point. So let's focus point. Just type in exactly what the focus point is. And then you just go to rotation mode and it's not we don't want to keyframe it. You want it to look at the group. The group would be focus point. And that's set up now. So let's actually delete the cam actor. So we want so now we have these two tabs here on the bottom of the matinee. So let's select the camera and add it in and connect, you know, camera 01 to the camera and the focus point will be this guy right here. Bam, and trip actor 4. And now let's uh, activate this by a very simple means. Uh, events input when we press a button. Let's say, add it here, let's say the X button. Press the X button, it'll play. And then actually let's go a little further and say when we press the Z, button, or key, I guess, the Z key on the keyboard, um, it'll play in reverse. And now we get to the fun part, actually animating this offset. Hopefully this all works out. So let's, so we should actually be able to see if the look at actually is working successfully. So let us animate the camera. Let's actually shorten this animation so let's spend five seconds watching the animation play out. So like that and then we move it like that and then we keyframe it and you see it automatically rotated to look at this camera because we are, we're not controlling rotation anymore it's already doing that and let's move this guy set the local move this guy to the right and then keyframe it so now we have this animation and now we play and see how it works so you press the X key and it flies out, press the Z key and then it comes right on back. And um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, and if you want any help, just send me a, send a comment below and I'll see if I could find the original tutorial for setting up the basic third person removed camera in the description below. Alright then, I'll see you guys.